And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. My name is Muhammad Numan. How are you, my dear students? I hope you will be fine. Welcome to Advanced English Grammar. Today we are going to talk about the word should. As you know, we have already discussed about this word, but that was not enough for you. You are advanced level students, so I'm going to teach you all the aspects of each and every word in the detail. After this video, no confusion, no ambiguity will be there in your mind. So let's talk about this word in more detail. We use should. The word should we use for advice, opinion, our suggestion. Whenever we are going to give someone opinion, advice, or suggestion about something, we use over there the word should. For example, you should come on time. I'm going to give him the suggestion. You should not be late, you should come on time. Or whenever we are going to take opinion, advice, or suggestion about something, we use there the word should. Okay? So let's talk about the example you should come on time. Let me tell you one thing here, whenever we are using the word should, in the present we use the best form, the root form, the first form of the word with the word should. Because should is a modal verb. And with the modal verb in the present we use the best form of the word. Okay? You should come. Come is here is the best form of the word. We use should be to show the existence. Let, let's see. The word should be, it is used in two different ways. The first way, it shows the existence. It means you should be there. And the other use, the, another use of the word should be we use in the passive wise sentence. The passive wise sentence, whenever we are going to stress, whenever we are going to emphasize, whenever we are going to give importance to the object, we use over there the word, uh, the passive wise sentence. Okay? So, the first example should be, he should be at home. He should be at home. What we are talking about? We are talking about the opinion, the suggestion. He should be at home. And here is no action, no main verb is available. Instead of that, that main verb, here be is a main verb. But it doesn't show any action. It shows just... It shows just the existence, keep in your mind. And another, another example, should not be, sorry, um, you should not, this is also uh, about talking, the, we are, whenever we are talking about the condition, the status of someone, you should not be selfish. So I'm going to give someone advice, you should not be selfish. 
we use there the word should be in should be plus third form of the word plus passive y sentence we use the third form of the word in the passive y sentences right <clears throat> he should be here be has used is the helping word not the main word because the main verb is already here it is available in the sentence so there is no need of the uh, uh, other word so we use there the word be uh, uh, is a helping word and sent is a main verb here and this is the PCY sentence he should be sent to prison immediately or immediately it has two uh, different uh, pronunciation you can pronounce both immediately or immediately <clears throat> the Indian they pronounce this word immediately but the British and the American they pronounce this word pronounce this word immediately keep in your mind this is the difference between uh, these two pronunciation should have should have plus third form of the word for example he should have some money suggestion he should have some money but here is no main word we are just talking about the uh, the ownership of someone we are talking about the relationship we are talking about the property he he must have so we use there the word should have have here has used is the main word and we are talking about just the uh, property we are not talking about any action he should have some money okay should have less third form of the verb again it has two uses in the uh, active and the passive y sentences should have plus third form of the word example he should have met me there or here should have here has used is the helping word main verb is available there we are talking about the, ex the, the, the action here we are not talking about the existence or the condition of some or something so he should have met me this is uh, like uh, advice about uh, to someone we use there this sentence very easy there is no difficulty no complexity is available here should have been should have plus third form of the verb again it has two uses he should have been here it has used for example he should be at home in the present but we use in the past should have been example he should have been here in the past again this is the passive y sentence he should have been sent to prison p stands for prison don't get confused he should have been sit sent to present in the past these two sentences they are related to the past should have had we are talking about the past he should have the past property the past uh, the past relationship or the ownership whenever we are talking about so we use there the word should have had and we use should have uh, for example he should have some money in the present and should have had we use in the past he should have had a car opinion we are talking about he should have had a car had here his has used uh, is the main verb okay <clears throat> should have to you should have to go there uh, it shows here a uh, like compulsion it shows the obligation here in the uh, present you should have to go there <clears throat> right again should have had should have had to this is used you should have to in the present uh, should have had to in the past i should have had to teach uh, in the college so it shows the obligation in the past i should have had to suggestion i should have had to teach in the college and should have to have should have to have it means in the present it shows the property the ownership 
uh, but also uh, the obligation, the compulsion. So if you want to join a call center, you should have to have a good communication skill. So it was our today class about the word should it has a lot of uses. Uh, so Alhamdulillah, we completed uh, this section about the word, this topic about the word should. In the next video, uh, we will be talking about the word would in more detail. It has also a lot of uses. As uh, you know, we have uh, already taken the class about that word also, but something is also there. We want to share those um, uh, topics, uh, those uh, uh, uses in the front of you. Okay, so it was our today class. I hope you would have, uh, you will have uh, understood about this topic. So do subscribe our channel. The name of our channel is Spread the Useful Knowledge. Uh, share these videos to your friends, relatives, through WhatsApp, Messenger, and Facebook. That would be very kind of you. Inshallah, uh, we are going to complete uh, this session uh, section about uh, the grammar. After this, we will start uh, uh, the linguistic classes, linguistics uh, classes, and the literature classes, the writing skills, the speaking skills, the listening skills. Uh, we will start the reading skills, all these uh, skills, inshallah, we will teach you. Uh, so, do this work for us. Thanks a lot of you. Thanks, Abhanguru.